GoPro presents World of Adventure. Sky running, a term coined by mountaineer Marino Giacometti in the 90s, meaning running where the earth and sky meet. It has since become a worldwide multidiscipline phenomenon governed by the International Sky Running Federation. To be considered sky running, a course must stand at least 2,000 meters in altitude, have a 30% incline, and not exceed a grade two climbing difficulty. The sky running world championships in Chamonix include a number of disciplines, the daunting ultra sky marathon, the sky marathon, and the vertical kilometer. I had never really heard of sky running before being in Europe. When they said sky running, I just thought it was another way of saying running up a mountain. What I found the biggest difference is the technical trails of sky running. It has to be a certain level of technical and also of altitude change. You get to see the most beautiful places. You're running against the terrain. You're trying to, to just navigate around these technical rocks and deep climbs and mud and weather. I love running and I love being in the mountains, transporting myself. I think it's super fascinating that you can make so long distances, like you can see so many new mountains or reach so many summits. And I really like the feeling that you can transport yourself. The course today is 3.8 kilometers, which comes in at just over two miles of steep terrain for competitors to scale. The current men's record is set at 34 minutes and 34 seconds by Saul Antonio Pauda. Beating this is an underlying goal for the top skyrunners here. Skyrunning's top competitors, such as National Geographic's 2014 Adventurer of the Year, Killian Journey, are continuing to make a name for the sport, setting groundbreaking records by running up the world's greatest peaks at unprecedented speeds. As Killian takes off, he is fresh off a U.S. expedition. Just days earlier, he returned from breaking the ascent-descent record at Mount McKinley in Denali National Park by over five hours. The course starts out in the center of Chamonix on paved roads and quickly takes off zigzagging under the Plan Prince gondola. The terrain varies as rocky road turns to trail, then turns to sheer rock, turning the race into a climb. The grueling 1,000 meter climb takes a toll on its ascender's oxygen intake as athletes collapse over the finish line. Record holder Christelle DeWall takes third as she crosses the line in 41 minutes and 50 seconds. Stevie Kramer completes the vertical kilometer just eight seconds behind first place, earning her an impressive second place finish. Laura Orgavilla continues her streak of dominance in the vertical kilometer as she takes first for the women while setting a new course record with a time of 41 minutes and 29 seconds. The competition is really good uh, and Killian, he made a fantastic race, it was, it was just amazing. Before I got to almost at the summit, I heard some people screaming, Killian, Killian is coming. Uh, and I was thinking, no, he started two minutes behind me. They must be wrong, it can't be Killian just behind me. I was looking behind my shoulder. Ah, no, Killian is here. So then I knew he was catching me up by two minutes. I felt I need to cross the finish line before him at least. So I tried to give it all the last bit of the race. He didn't catch me before the finish line, but he was really, really close. With paparazzi and fans surrounding him, Skyrunning's rising star, Killian Journey, finishes in 34 minutes and 18 seconds. Setting yet another record, Killian is unfazed as he can only focus on one thing, the upcoming marathon. It's not si mal et 
Du coup, j'ai accéléré beaucoup la, la partie finale et je oh, suis super content parce que je ne l'attendais pas du tout.